All right, since I got some really good light, let's open these up. Let's take a look. Now I'm gonna try not to cut any of this because I do like this um, packaging and I wanna cut these out and use them in the rooms. And maybe these, maybe I'll frame them. They're the other girls. And they could hang in Ashlyn's room maybe. Yeah, maybe a lot. So let's get this open. See if we pop them. Nope. Okay. Sorry. Ooh, come on. You can do it. All right. We're almost there. Comment below and let me know if you've made rooms or the beds. Oop. Walk into the scissors. Let me know what you guys have done, or maybe you have more of the equipment, like their beds. I don't know. Do they make beds? I never see anything but these dolls at Target or Walmart. Um, I'm going to have to look more at Toys or Us, I think. So here they are. So she's part of the Royal, it says, and he's ever after Rebel. I love the storybook thing going on. I'm gonna get rid of this plastic here, and I'm not gonna ruin this because I'm gonna, if I want, I could use this for windows. It's nice and clean. Now, how do we get these little honeys out of here? Okay, so they're like they're just. See how they got the like a shirt tag. So I'm just going to go carefully cut that. Young lady. Oh, they actually pierce their heads? Oh my gosh. And then down here it looks like a kind of a plastic hoop. So carefully cut that. Okay, that released his torso and then his feet looks like... Oh, there's another plastic here okay and there's a couple plastics here I'll cut release his feet all right oh we got one more oh he's holding hands with Ella how cute is that look at they got their hands bound together okay we got the huntsman free just about Come on. Just about. There he is. All right. Hunter's free. That's what he looks like. That plastic. Up. Yes, ma'am. We're right here. So there's his hair. This is like, oh, felt or velour. This is hair. It's very firm. Hair sprayed. He has a tree shirt. Satchel. Opens up. It looks like three compartments looks like it's full leather there's the back and he has a hood and Gwen stop she's trying to climb in the boxes because she's a cat and the boots his pants he has a bunch of somethings there so let's see he's got brown eyes all right, there's Hunter. Let's get Madeline out. Her brush is just a little bit of this elastic stuff, and I'm just putting this up on the table so Gwen doesn't eat it. There's her brush. And it's the shape of a key, which I really like that. So I'm gonna if I can see what she's hooked to. Looks like maybe the same things as Hunter, little tabs. I'm gonna try and cut one without cutting her hair. And her hair, it's all, she's got all this elastic, little teeny elastic holding her hair. Okay. She 
got some more elastic around her torso and her hair. And her legs have larger plastic. Okay, almost got her free. It's like a big chunk, oops, big chunk of plastic here. Wrapped around this leg, but just a little bit of the plastic on that. All right, my lens free. And I'm just, because of my cats right here, I'm trying to make sure there's nothing that's going to fall that she can get in her mouth. We don't want the young lady choking, so there's Ashlyn. I love her braided hair. There's a little piece of that. And her crown. Her tiara, I mean. Her earrings are adorable. She has green eyes. Beautiful lip color. Necklace. Pretty bracelet. Her outfit's adorable. There's her purse, which is a little carriage with the midnights, almost stroke of midnight. Her shoes, they're like pumpkin vines. Here's the back. And it's just a little flat from being in the box. Here's the back of her outfit. Belt grows up the back. She has poofy pink shoulders and then sheer sleeves. And then uh, this is satiny, and then this is a mesh, like a tool with gold on it. There's her shoes again. All right, so there they are, Hunter and Ashlyn. All right, they're so cute. The young couple. Thank you, bye-bye.